In this video, we will see I2C communication protocol. First, we will see what is I2C. I2C can be expanded as inter-integrated circuit. It is one of the serial communication protocol. It is a bidirectional data transfer protocol and it is a hop duplex. Hop duplex means that the data can be transferred from one medium to the other medium with a single line. The data transfer can happen from 1 to 2 or 2 to 1. But the thing is, at a single time, only one can transmit the data. So, other will receive the data. So that this kind of communication is known as a half duplex communication. So, I2C has only one data line. That's why I2C also a half duplex communication protocol. I2C is a synchronous communication protocol. This is synchronized with a clock signal. So, clock is provided to synchronize two devices in communication time. Clock is controlled when data line is changed. Whenever the data needs to be changed, the clock is controlled. This is a simple prototype of I2C communication. Here, I2C communication have in number of masters and in number of slaves. This is a basic I2C prototype. It has only one master and in number of slaves. The master can be a microcontroller and a slave can be a LCD display or EEPROM or any other microcontroller. So from master two lines are taken out that is data line and clock line SDA SCL. So this SDA and SCL is connected to the n number of slaves like this as shown here. So from master only one SDA line and only one SCL line is taken out so that the number of wires gets reduced when we compare it to SPA communication which requires increases the number of lines as the slave increases. This is one of the advantage of A2C protocol. We will move further. Speed of a A2C communication protocol can be split to three types that is low which is under 100 kbps and a fast 400 kbps and high speed which is 3.4 mbps this 3.4 mbps communication is available only in i2c version 2.0 i2c is a two wire communication it has sda and scl when voltage is high it is considered as 1. When voltage is low, it is considered as 0. Here we can see how the SDA and SCL lines are connected with a master and two slaves. When SCL is 1, data is a valid data. When SCL is 0, which means data changes. A basic I2C protocol is a master slave quota protocol. That is a single master and single slave. Master controls the clock. Always. Slave device may hold the clock low to prevent data transfer 
no data transfer is present when clock is low. Slave device pull the clock low when the data transfer should not occur. So this is the one way of preventing data transfer by the slave. It is a kind of wired and connection which means and connection wired and connection it is a wired and connection we will see why i am telling this is a wired and connection later by default i2c lines are open drain or open collector so adding pull up is necessary so that it will have only two states that is floating high and drive low default the pull up state is high that means by default i2c lines will have high state so whenever the device needs to be pulled low it will go to low that time data transfer may happen that is the need for adding the pull up resistors this is the packet format of i2c protocol I2C protocol has start bit and uh, address which is 7 to 10 bits and read write that is master to read from slave or master writes to the slave which kind of communication needs to be happen that is specified in this bit after that ACK the receiver sends the ACK so that is the ACK bit and 8 bit data from master or from slave that that is decided from this end and again ACK and again another data and again ACK and it goes on as long as the stop bit received. This is the simple explanation of A2C packet. We will see all this. This is the short condition of A2C protocol. Here SDA is high and it changes to low. Here SEL is high. So the start condition is SDA changes from high to low. Here SDA is changing high to low when SCL is high. This is the start condition of I2C. The stop condition of I2C is shown here here the data line changes from high to low here the data line changes from high to low when the SCL is high this is the stop condition of I2C communication repeated start in this case repeated start condition short condition is generated instead of stop frame data transfer it is a byte oriented data transfer so 8 bit of data is transmitted ACK is transmitted by recipient of the data it is msb first and lsb next kind of tra data transfer it may vary based on the slave for that we need to understand the slaves data sheet
in all kind of communication first bite from the moisture is always a address the first bite is transmitted by moisture and address to slave is the recipient next to bite that is next to bite is based on the last bit of rw that is read or write in the first packet seven bit will be the address and one bit will be the read or write so when read write bit is zero moisture will be the writer and when read write bit is one moisture will be the receiver and the ninth pulse is acknowledgement bit so acknowledgement bit will look like this acknowledgement means data line to low here we can see this is the hack and this is not acknowledgement or negative acknowledgement so the sda line is pulled by the slave to low to give the acknowledgement to the moisture and that time moisture gives the pulse moisture gives the pulse with respect to the accepted speed so that it, it generates the clock that time sda need to be pulled low by the slave to give the acknowledgement we will see the full i2c data transfer in this image here we can see the start condition and the data lines and ag and stop so sda high scl high this is the idle time and the sda high to low when scl high that is the start condition while scl is high this bit detected while scs is low data is allowed to allowed to change from 0 to 1 or 1 to 0 this add bit is sent by the receiver by pulling it low when the clock is high and this is the stop bit that is sta low to high and scl is high that is the stop condition here the full image of i2c data transfer is given first the clock is start generating and the master gives the slave address and that particular slave will listen and start listening to the master and it becomes the receiver here the address is 7 bit and the next bit is read or write and then act is given by the slave by pulling the data line low when the clock pulse is generated so based on this read or write the data transfer is happened by sending or receiving the data and again the act is given and it continues and the next data transfer happens and again act and the next data transfer act by slave and it goes on as long as the stop condition is received this is how the data transfer happens from a single master to multiple slave i2c is a multi master communication 
so bus arbitration is required when two devices tries to drive sta to different value it is necessary to be sure that is not interfering with another message if a device is trying to send a logic and but here's the logic zero that is trying to send a logic one but here's zero it immediately stops transmission and gives the other sender priority synchronization is needed in clock in case of i2c multi master that is arbitration we will look at to the advantages and disadvantages of i2c communication the advantage of i2c communication is it is good for on board devices that is when the data transfer needs to be happen from one device to other and which requires less distance so in that conditions this kind of i2c communication is more important and easy to implement easy to link multiple devices because of addressing scheme cost and complexity do not scale up with the sum of that is number of devices and the disadvantage of i2c communication protocol is the complexity of supporting software components can be higher than that of the scheme that is spa which does not have address this is one of the disadvantages of of i2c communication when we try to implement the i2c we may face many problems so uh, they don't have any other communication options earlier like can so that's why many of the old communication have i2c nowadays the can is introduced and which prevents some of the disadvantages of this spa and i2c this is the end of i2c communication protocol post your doubts in the comments and don't forget to like if you like this video and surely you need to subscribe thanks for watching keep subscribe for more upcoming videos thank you